How do I curve snap in Maya? Curve snapping is a snapping method that allows you to snap to NURBS curves, to polygonal edges, to NURBS isoparms, or anything that really is a curve in 3D space. Now, there's a couple of different ways to go about this. You'll notice up in the status line, you have the snap to curves button. This is a toggle. If you click it once, it becomes depressed, and it will remain that way until you come up and click it again, meaning that type of snapping is going to be active for as long as the button is pushed down. So I'm going to click on our little polygon sphere here, and you'll notice that while this button is depressed, our move tool changes. Instead of having the default square in the middle of it, it turns into a little circle. And this tells you that you are ready to begin snapping. Now, curve snapping is easy as long as this button is down. You need to simply grab your object and, well, if you try to drag it around, you get nothing. If you left mouse drag, you start to accidentally select things. And it's important to keep this in mind. You may have noticed this with other types of snapping found in Maya. The best way to go about this is to use your middle mouse button. So mouse over the point you want to snap to and just click and gesture with your uh, middle mouse button. And what I mean when I say gesture, it just kind of nudge the mouse a little bit. As soon as it detects a little bit of motion, you'll snap to that point. While you have the middle mouse button down, you can drag along this curve and you're snapping this object directly to that curve. I can rotate about and you'll notice that we are stuck right to that curve based on the pivot point of our object. And it's not just NURBS curves we can snap to. We can do the exact same thing to polygonal edges. Those are treated just like curves. So we can snap along those as well. And we can snap to NURBS isoparms. So here's a NURBS sphere. If we just, uh, let's say we mouse over the equator, middle click and gesture, we snap right to the equator. Now in this case, we can keep going in circles around this object. That is because a NURBS sphere by default is closed in the horizontal direction. But if I go to one of the what would this be, uh, latitudinal direction? I can't, I always forget my longitude and latitude. <laughs> Anyways, if we go to one of the vertical isoparms, you you'll notice they stop at the poles, and that is because the object can only be closed in one direction. So this is really a rectangular shape that's been wrapped into a sphere, and here we're going to the, the northern end of it, and we can't wrap around to the other side. Now, there is also a hotkey that we can use. There is indeed. If you don't want to reach all the way up here to the top of the UI and uh, constantly use your toggle buttons, you can hold down the C key, which is the one that's easiest to remember. I mean, X is for grid, V is for point, but C is for curve, and that should be pretty easy. If you hold down the C key, you can middle mouse click on anybody and snap right to that curve. So very quick feature to have on hand and well, I you'll, guess that's everything. You'll also to know that while Zach holds the C key down up above in the status line, you can see that that button does become depressed. This is a great way to do just a quick toggle in, toggle out. Do a quick snap and then continue with whatever it was you were doing. That's right, because usually your hand is probably hovering over the left side of the keyboard. That's anyway. correct. And with that, that is going to wrap up this How Do I.